Good morning and welcome. It's Chilli Cube here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am, I should never say trying to recreate a pour that I've done previously because you can never recreate something. <coughs> plain old water to it just bit by bit so if you find you've run out of paint somewhere it's quite easy to make up some paint quickly because your paints don't dry that quick you can absolutely do that so you can either add a bit more pouring medium a bit of flow troll in this case I'm just adding I'm just adding water so that's fine not going to put that on just yet until I've layered my other colours. So I will start off here with my red. I want to do a fiery wave and again this is quite thick but I have put in this cool red. This was my cool red global impasto and as one of my favourite things to add is the pearl mist which makes it really nice and sparkly so I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this too it's a little bit on the thick side because I mixed them yesterday and I have just covered them up with a damp cloth and um, so they've thickened up a little bit so just a little bit more I don't want them really thin like you would normally have to blow paints around just find I can get sort of more texture looking when I leave it this way so I've got to so this will kind of be the ooh, cusp of my wave I don't want to add too much which I always say every time, and I always um, add too much. For it. I'm gonna try, you can try. So that is my red, and it's a fiery wave, remember? So I'm gonna add some of the orange. Well, when I mix this orange, I always put a good dash of yellow, so it sends it super bright. Super bright. Now the um, this is yellow. This one is called yellow flower, which you can use any nice bright yellow. Really want to keep the yellow on the inside of this particular one, just a little bit on the outside. There we go. Got to be fingers crossed for this one. Rightio, this is the fluoro pink. It's quite thick, but I'm going to risk it for a Swiss skit. Ooh. So it is quite fun doing these um, waves. I mean, they're not as easy as they look 
to get them right. I mean, I'm not doing them obviously to color because you don't have waves this color. <clears throat> but that's the fun of it. Righty oh, I have got a sort of, it's my berry delicious, but I obviously added a real good blob of black because it's very dark. And it also has got a really good dash of that pearl mist. And I've got a big gooby thing hanging off that one end. That's it. Gone. There you go. That's all the paint that I'm going to put in there. I don't want to... Trying not to overdo it. I have got this absolutely gorgeous um, purple that I made up with the with the, the pearl mist again and so it is absolutely glistening i don't know if you can see that so maybe i'll just put a bit of that in why not might not show up but rightio that will do i'll just put some paint where the white where i want to blow this out but i must be mindful to save a bit so hopefully I can always sort of edit it if it doesn't work out you know I can scrape a bit off and add a bit on so wish me luck let me just go over with my heat wand first any air bubbles in there I can already see this just glistening with that pearl mist in the red in the purple beautiful Rightio. Now I'm thinking, should I go my little, I might try and start off with my little jilly blow, just the little travel dryer, see how we go. Um, I'm gonna just start it on low. I'm just gonna hold it at this angle, see how we go. Just doing like the wiggles on it so as it gives like a wave effect. Okay. Back the other, other way. It's absolutely fine. That definitely gives a lovely wave effect when you give it a bit of a wiggle. slow this down because this is the bit where it gets a bit difficult that's actually gorgeous with that I'm just gonna add some dabs to the side of my paint that's um, been blown off just to cover my edges because this is a gallery wrapped a nice thick edged canvas so get some nice colors on the uh, edges of it will help enhance the whole piece so I will turn it around your way in a minute but normally I scrape off my tip and redo it, sort of edit it with my fingers or a spatula. That's not too bad because if I get my son to fill in, it'll, um, I do want to do those waves a little bit there. So let me see if I can add a bit. quite like that do I need to take that out now 
So I will, where's my little diddy doddy, diddy doddy spatula, take it out, wipe it out. I'm okay with that there, it can actually be fine, I'm just getting the you can absolutely use your fingers, it's all part of the art process, whatever, whatever works, I say. you see what I'm seeing when I turn it round, hopefully. Uh, just... Sure, if I should just blow some of this. Or whether my finger would do a better job. Ooh, I quite like that. If you haven't tried a wave and you think oh that looks easy um, they're not <laughs> uh, it just but it just does take a bit more practice I mean I definitely need more practice in it I'm going to leave this white because I would like my son at some times even though he's very busy at the moment to um, come in and embellish it like he's done with the other one but even though it looks a little bit chunky at the moment, it'll um, definitely um, dry flatter. But I'm not sure if I need a bit of colour. I can always go over it with white if I don't like what I'm doing now. You can always try and edit bits out. It's not always successful, but... Um, Maybe I shouldn't have done that. So, just take it out. Just take it out. No drama. Add a bit more white. Um, clean my spatula so I don't add all those colours again. It doesn't matter if it picks up a bit of the colour that I've already got there. It's not. Remember, it, it's an art. You don't have to have it perfect and sometimes these things when you re-edit and you add a bit of color that you never meant to really in the end when they've dry you think that that color needed to be there uh, oh i think that will be perfect for um just doing that little bit of embellishment in the i mean it looks perfectly fine as it is i'll turn it around so you can see what i'm seeing and i love it i really want to do one of these on a huge canvas um but there's my fiery wave i mean as it dries i might try to edit a few of the bits but um i'm quite happy with that i'm happy with that i think that that looks perfect for what I was trying to achieve. Colours are really bright and vibrant. They go lovely together. So just let me know what you think. Did you like that one? Um, and like I said, I um, will try and get Scott to embellish a little bit in the centre, but if not, it's perfectly fine like that. It's quite lovely. Okie doke, my lovelies. I will see you tomorrow. I'm here every day. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It costs you absolutely nothing. Um, take care of yourselves because if you don't take care of yourselves you're no good to anyone else so yeah just take care of yourself and be well so bye for now mm -hmm.